Handcuff me, throw me in the slammer and book me. I turn to the dark side man cause they got cookies. I am over it, Flo. Let's get on a sniper roll. What's up, Flo's? Don't you knows? I love all of you, uppercut. What's going on, guys? How are you guys doing today? This gameplay is brought to you by somebody I like to call over it, Flo, and he happens to be a very good looking, handsome sniper with, um,. With, uh, with a good attitude towards life, and it's pretty good. <laughs> so, how are you guys doing today? Are you guys all good? I hope that you guys are all doing well, and I hope you guys are all doing sp fantastically amazing and delicious. I'm doing pretty good myself. Today is a day that is a day that we were given, and we're blessed to have this day. And um, not in any sort of religious sense. Um, because, you know, that's, you know, just we're blessed to be alive on this fantastic day. I think it's a good day. Look, the stars are shining, the moon is bright, the clouds are up, and the birds are all right with me. So, anyway, you guys, besides that, how are you guys? Are you guys doing good today? I'm doing pretty good myself. This commentary is on C-Town with the MSR. Um, and I do have to admit what I'm using. I am using Marksman, and I am using Blind Eye, and I am using Assassin. Whoa, 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 don't click out of the video yet because we're going to go over some, some little talks about how and why I've switched over to using Assassin on a few of my classes. About maybe um, one-fourth of them. And we're going to go ahead and talk about that, okay? But before we talk about that, i got to tell you guys, my cousin, my um, one of my cousins, I have two cousins that are twins. And one of them had to stay in Texas, but one of them is coming here for a week and he's actually here right now. And then once he leaves, my other cousin is coming here to live here in Las Vegas. And so while my one cousin is here, his name is Adam. While Adam is here, I'm curious to know, do you guys want me to do like some sort of dual com with him? Or like what would you guys want me to do? Like, I don't know. Would you want me to do regular commentary with him? Just about like give us some topic ideas. Do something. Leave some comments. Leave some comments below about topic ideas. Or maybe how's this for an idea? How about we get some zombie gameplay or something? And um, we do a would you rather commentary with just me and my cousin. I don't even know if my cousin's ever even seen those. So I think it will be funny. My cousin's almost 19. I'm 20 myself. So that's what it is, you guys. And I think that it will be fun. But anyway, without further ado, let's... So leave those comments and all that good stuff. And uh, hopefully YouTube is working by now. They were supposedly were supposed to fix the sub boxes, which would be really good because our channel has taken a tremendous hit because of the sub boxes. I don't know what's up. Let's talk about Assassin. All right, you guys. You guys know that I've always been um, re a really outspoken member of the community when it comes to them getting rid of Assassin, getting rid of Ghost, getting rid of UAV. Um, what was the one in Cod for? It's called UAV. Was it UAV Jammer? Was that it? UAV something? I don't know. And camouflage in World of War. So. Uh, and cold-blooded in Modern Warfare 2. I've always been somebody who doesn't like those stealth perks just because I feel like the radar's there and if the radar doesn't work because of a perk then the kill streak is useless and the, the radar is pretty much useless in my opinion. So I've always been somebody who does not like Assassin or Ghost or any of those stealth perks. But with the Infinity Ward series I have noticed that when I put on Quick Draw and I put on all this stuff it makes me want to run headlong into the enemy spawns and just try to go for crazy kill streaks and stuff and that in turn ends up getting you killed faster um, because of the spawns in this game which yeah that's true but also because of the fact that uh, those perks like quick draw and sleight of hand make you feel like you are a super soldier in some sense and so you don't mind if you run headlong into the enemy spawn and all that stuff even though you should not be doing that and so for me first I switched to hardline instead of quick draw because I wanted to see if I could um, change up my gameplay if it would make me go a little bit slower. Infinity War games are meant to be really fast paced and action packed but if you play that way you're never gonna be a, a good player unless you know you run around with like a submachine gun then yes but I run around with a sniper and a lot of other people do and some people are good at it but from my experiences most of the um, most of the actual sniper commentators that run around and get gameplays have kind of low KDs and my KD isn't high right now because honestly you guys MW3 I've accepted the fact that it's not a skill based game and so sometimes I'll run around and just try to get like direct impact kills with C4 and stuff so my KD is horrible it's under a 2 right now I think it's like 1.8 or something so but that's on my 
my uh, fun account. On my account where I actually try, it's like over a four point something. So whatever. Either way, you guys, um, I've accepted the fact that MW3 does not really directly correlate with skill. Um, your or your um, performance in the game does not directly correlate with the skill of the player, in my opinion. And probably it's probably factual. I'm sure you guys all agree with that. So anyway, back to the on topic because I get off topic so much. Um, I switched to Hardline first just because I wanted to. You know what? What are my kill streaks? I believe it's just uh, Care Package, Predator Missile, Chopper, like Hella Chopper. Anyway, you guys. Switch to Hardline first. I really like Hardline, I do, but so many people use Marksman and the ACR Type 95, stuff like that, that it almost makes their guns sniper rifles because they can see you from that far away as well, and you die so fast in MW3 and any Infinity and any Infinity Ward game, really, that, you know, it's just like, it's frustrating to me, to me, to me, so... I had Hardline, and because people were seeing my names with Mar my name with Marksman, I switched over to Assassin, and for, m for me personally, it really slows down my gameplay, and because I'm a sniper, and these maps are so small, I believe that Assassin is fair play, because it's not like I'm using Assassin with a submachine gun, and I don't know, I personally, I don't mind the corner camper Assassins, I mind more the people who run around with Assassin with like a PP90, that frustrates me more. Maybe it's just a personal thing because so many people don't like campers, but I don't really don't mind campers. I more get frustrated by people who run around with assassins. That's just me personally. I don't know how you guys feel. But anyway, back to on topic! So assassin to me has slowed down my gameplay considerably. It really makes my sniping more tactical because instead of me thinking like, Hey, I'll just run in here, pop, 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 sniper, Zerg Grizz, Optic Predator, kill all these guys. Instead of me doing that, I actually just... Kinda, it, it really slows down your gameplay, guys. I'm not encouraging you to use Assassin, but what I am encouraging you to do is slow down your gameplay if you're a sniper. You don't have to run into the enemy spawn all the time to try to get those kill feeds. What you want to do is slow it down, really look at the map, and even though strategy is really lacking in Modern Warfare 3, you can still employ some bit of tactics in this game, to some extent, in my opinion. And so that's what I like to do, and I gotta admit that, uh, I don't know. I do have Assassin on a few of my classes, and I was really against it for the longest time, like, I'm still against it. And you know what, I'm going to cover some ideas, that, you know what, that's a great idea, I'll cover some ideas on how to fix Assassin. But anyway, I'm still against Assassin being in the next game, but for this game, because there's so much, it's BS, it's BS, because there's so much, uh, Bushu in this game, I just decided, you know what, I'll use Assassin, it's the one of the least of the evils in this game and I'll just do my thing with the sniper and I'm having a good time with it this gameplay isn't a terrific score but it's about a four and a half KD which is decent for a sniper and I'm sure that anybody who fails to see that this is a good game is simply corrupted by the standards of YouTube except for some people like Woody's Gamertag and um let's see El Presador who don't care about their scores those guys power to you power power to you Power Rangers now, let's talk about some ways we can fix Assassin! Assassin! Assassin, let's talk about some ways to fix the stealth perks, in my most beautiful opinion. And you guys are more than welcome to leave your opinions below. And you know what? A lot of you guys say you don't like long videos, and a lot of you guys say you love the longer videos. So let me know how long you like the videos. I know that 8 minutes is ideal, I'm pretty sure. But sometimes these gameplays are a little bit long since I play mostly Domination. And, um, yeah, so leave your comments below, leave your feedback, leave your love. And let's go over my ideas for fixing Assassin, and please leave yours. I think that, in the next game, they should not have Assassin at all, alright? No Assassin, no stealth perk like that, but I do think that if you're, like, hiding or you're laying prone, maybe then your name should go away or something like that. There should be some type of element of stealth but it shouldn't be a perk that just negates all effects of the you know kill streaks that let you see the other team but so no stealth perks but what i do think is that look i'm in last stand right here i'm a beast oh i forgot about this game oh last stand i used last stand just because i wanted to make a cheap class or something and i think there was so much funny stuff in this game you guys i hope you, that you were watching the gameplay i missed a few funny things i had this gameplay for a minute so i forgot about some of the funny things but a lot of funny stuff happened in this like 
people not even seeing me. How did he not see me? Stuff like that. And then Last Stand getting me a, a helicopter and stuff. That's ridiculous. Last Stand is overpowered. Take it out of the game, please. Oh my gosh. So anyway, I think that they should take out the stealth perks, but they should add, um, or not add, but they should keep the UAV, maybe make it into the advanced UAV. Hey guys, advanced UAV here! I think they should make it into the advanced UAV from MW3, and that would be the regular UAV, but it would be like an eight kill streak, and you would have to get eight gun kills for that kill streak, and that way you could see everybody on the map, but it wouldn't be, um, I feel like it wouldn't be, like UAVs wouldn't be thrown up all the time because the UAV, or the advanced UAV, whatever you want to call it, would be the only UAV in the game, or maybe a 16 kill streak for a Blackbird, but at eight kills you'd get the advanced UAV thing, and... That, I, I feel like that would take out the need for a stealth perk because the UAV wouldn't be uh, uh, it, it wouldn't be up too often, you know. And so that would be my idea: just take out stealth perks and make the UAV a high kill streak. And um, some people argue that and say, well, then, but people wouldn't want to use the UAV because then the other high kill streaks actually get you kills. But the thing is, it, it takes it makes it more prioritized. Like people will want the UAV. That like it will be balanced. Would you rather have a UAV or you know? Uh, I don't know, an airstrike. You'd rather have the UAV so you can see the enemy team. And so that was just my idea for it, you guys. This has been a longer commentary done by your boy, Overflow. No, I'm just kidding, you guys. But seriously, guys, I love you guys. You guys are great. Go ahead and leave a thumb if you love it. If you don't like it, leave a thumb anyway. I love you guys. I'm done. And I am over and out.